The fog has been hanging around in our region tonight and don't think it's going to go anywhere anytime shortly, at least not through tonight. It will be into tomorrow that we finally begin to clear throughout the southern Red River Valley. We are seeing a little bit of clearing up across our north, but still seeing the clouds hanging on. It's 31 degrees right now in Fargo. Nice calm wind, so we don't have much of a wind chill. 32 degrees over in Moorhead and our sunset tonight was at 458 PM. Up in the Northern Valley, Grand Forks seeing some clearing skies, a few clouds out there, and that is causing the temperature to drop faster. So in Grand Forks right now, currently sitting at 25 degrees. It feels like 18 with a bit of a breeze out of the west at six miles per hour. Across our region, Fergus Falls is at 27 degrees right now, 24 in Bemidji and 25 in Devil's Lake. On our Muscatel Subaru satellite and radar, you can begin to see that area of clearing mostly across the northern Red River Valley. Still seeing a few clouds up in the Devil's Lake area down towards Carrington and the thickest cloud cover down across the southern Red River Valley and much of northwestern Minnesota tonight. Visibility down to four miles in Fargo, 0.8 in Fergus Falls, four miles in Detroit Lake, so improving slightly there. But up in Langdon, Candu, up near the Turtle Mountains, visibility near a quarter of a mile, 10 miles in Grand Forks where we're seeing clearing skies for tonight and clearer up across portions of Bemidji and Baudette, but we're still seeing the thickest areas of fog right through the Southern Valley and into West Central Minnesota. Now, despite the thick cloud cover and fog today, we did still manage to rise into the 20s and 30s, mostly in the 20s, upper 20s, a few low 30s across northwestern Minnesota, made it to 30 in Park Rapids, 29 in Monoman, 31 in Fargo, 34 in Grand Forks and Jamestown, 32 in Carrington, and 31 up in Devil's Lake. So it was still a nice mild day if you did step outside. Tonight in Fargo, we'll hang on to the upper 20s for a couple more hours with that cloud cover eventually falling into the lower 20s and upper teens by the time we reach daybreak tomorrow. In Grand Forks, temperatures will be falling faster thanks to the skies clearing faster, and we've already been seeing that trend. In your hourly planner tonight, we'll continue to see a very gradual decrease in the clouds from the north to the south. So here we are early tomorrow morning. Overall, we're going to see partly cloudy skies, a bit more cloud cover out towards the James River Valley, the southern Red River Valley, and those clouds really sticking around across much of northwestern Minnesota. But throughout the day into the afternoon, we'll see some areas of clearing and temperatures again being able to rise into the 20s and low 30s. So a snapshot of your hometown forecast tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m. We can expect right around 30 degrees in Bemidji, 25 in Wadena and Detroit Lakes, 27 in Thief River Falls, 28 in Fargo, 29 in Grand Forks, 30 in Valley City, and yet again, the warmest air out towards the James River Valley, 34 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Your viewer photo today is another frosty one. Rime ice has been coating the trees for a couple of days now. Now, rime ice forms when fog freezes to surfaces, as opposed to, you might have heard the term hoarfrost being tossed around. That occurs when moisture evaporates and freezes on surfaces, but that only happens on clear and humid nights. Now, in your seven day planner, we continue the warm up as we were talking about just a few minutes ago, warming up into the 30s on Monday, low 30s on Tuesday. And Courtney, we are looking at 40 degrees on Wednesday as a warm front pushes through, but that's also going to bring the chance for some mixed precipitation later in the day Wednesday, transitioning to snow by Thursday morning and kicking up the breeze for several days before the temperatures fall back into the 20s and teens. I'll take that frost, Summer. I think it makes the trees look so pretty. It's beautiful. Yeah, isn't it? All right, thanks so much, Summer.